First World War was known as the War to End All Wars. It brought unprecedented numbers of men together in battle. It had weapons never seen before, like tanks, submarines and airplanes, and guns that could fire several shells per minute. And weapons like mustard gas and chlorine gas caused fear and horrific injuries. In a famous speech, the British Prime Minister Lloyd George talked about creating a land fit for heroes to live in for the men returning from World War I. But many men and women returning to civilian life, damaged physically and psychologically, found that promise was not kept. Among other issues, the working classes observing the revolution in Russia wanted a bigger say in how things were run, as did women who fought for the right to vote. In theatre, new companies like the Theatre of Action, the Theatre Workshop and the Unity Theatre in London created performances reflecting the experience of the workers. They used a simple form of theatre called Living Newspapers where images, music and language combined to make a powerful impression. After the war, I became a butcher. After the war, I was selling shoelaces in the streets. After the war, my family didn't accept me. After the war, I became depressed and tried to commit suicide. In 1939, at the beginning of World War II, Noel Coward, one of the greatest playwrights of the time, wrote a play that begins in 1918, at the end of the First World War. In the opening scene of this happy breed, Noel Coward very bravely puts the thoughts of many servicemen and their wives into words spoken by Frank and Ethel Gibbons. All right, I won't start arguments. You can say your prayers till kingdom come if you like. But you can't expect me to, not after all I've seen. I don't hold with a God who just singles out a few to be nice to and lets the others rot. He can get on with it for all I care. James, over these couple of years, I never thought I would survive it, but then I met you. I know, I thought this would be a living hell, but you've made a bet for me. You've been my only friend here. James, you've taught me how to grow and how to be a better man through this war. I thought, why not just jump off a cliff? But then, you helped me. Look, I know these may be our last words, but I believe we can survive this together. together. Why me? Why did I survive? We're lucky. It's over and done with for some people. Look at poor Mrs. Worsley, two sons gone and her husband. Nothing left to live for. And Miss Cross, with that boy she was so proud of, done in for life, can't even feed himself properly. We are lucky and ought to be grateful. Have you heard about the boy down the road? His whole leg's been blown off. Oh my gosh, it's just so sad. Have you heard about the boy who got shell shot from the war and came home and all he does is just shake in the chair? Poor thing, he even has to be wheeled outside just for a bit of fresh air. <sighs> My husband's not back yet, and I'm just, I don't even know what to say to the kids. Don't worry, it's all going to be alright. I'm sure he'll be back soon. I hope so, but many men have been damaged by this war. I just can't get over not having that awful weight on my mind all the time. How do you mean? Me perishing on a field of slaughter? <laughs> what a chance. There was a chance of every minute for four years, and don't forget it, I used to fall sick every time the postman came, every time the bell rang. And after the war, this is what happened to me. Who's it going to be this time? It's me. Don't you remember me? Who are you? Your husband. She doesn't even remember who I am.
No, you're not. You can't be. I can't live with the man that's come home to me. Is this a land fit for heroes? Oh my, my, look how much you've grown. I can't remember last time I seen Funny. you and your sister. Yes. Who's this? Oh, where'd you find this? By the teapots. Oh, well, basically, this is a family photo of, well, me and my family. So, it's all of the siblings and then our two, and then the two parents. Any questions? What are their names? Well, this is my mum, Louise, and this is my dad, William. And it's also funny because they named their first-born daughter Louise and their first-born son William. What about the rest? Well, the rest. So, um, this is May, and this is Jack, and this is Stanley, and then this is me. Now, um, this picture was taken one day before William went into the war. Bless his soul. He did die, obviously. Because um, what had happened was, when the British soldiers, they threw a gas, like a gas bomb, and the wind changed directions and flew back to their um, front line, which killed all of the British soldiers immediately. Unfortunately, William, both him and his best friend, died. This picture means a lot to us all.